Hylion, fresh milk, sugarcane, goat butter, corn spice, and monster extract cannot be dropped from enemies in Zelda Breath of the Wild. They can only be bought. Today, we'll learn exactly what those items are used for, which shops to buy them, and even some hidden places you can get them. If you don't know me, I'm Nico, and I love trying to get everything possible in Zelda games. If you need help finding or doing anything in Zelda games, I hope you consider subscribing or at least check out the channel. Before I get into it, you should know that fortified pumpkins and swift carrots can only be bought too, but they can be dropped from enemies. I do have videos for both pumpkins and carrots, check the cards in the corner or the links in the description. First, let's talk cooking. Each one of these materials, except monster extract, don't add any special abilities to dish except extra time. Fresh milk, sugar cane, and goat butter each add 1 minute and 20 seconds to a dish. And goron spice adds 1 minute and 30 seconds to a dish. When cooking a meal, the monster extract will give a random bonus. It can make a dish last 1 minute, 10 minutes, or 30 minutes, or it can level up or down a bonus, or add 3 hearts, minus a quarter heart, or it could do no changes. Also, when adding this to the Master Cycle Zero, I believe it does double the effectiveness of whichever materials are used with it. You do need these materials to do some side quests. First, the What's For Dinner side quest in Lurlin, Kiana asks for a goat butter. Cooking with Coco in Kakariko, Coco also asks for a goat butter. The curry for what ails you in Rito Stable, Lester asks for Goron Spice. The A Royal Recipe side quest in the Riverside Stable doesn't ask for a material, but it asks for either of two dishes. One dish requires sugarcane, and the other dish requires sugarcane, goat butter, and monster extract. And the Apparent's Love quest in Tarrytown also asks for that second dish. Those are the things I found that you need these items for. Now let's talk about where to find those materials. First, goat butter. You can buy five of them for the shop in Rito Village and Kakariko Village. There is also a traveling merchant named Aegis who travels between the Dueling Peak Stable and the Hatino Village. He sells two goat butters. And also the traveling merchant Yamo who travels between the Tabantha Bridge Stable, Serene Stable, and the Snowfield Stable. You can buy five. For sugarcane, you can buy three of them from the shops in Gerudo City, Rito Village, and the Korok Forest. Yamo also sells five of them, but only when it's raining. For fresh milk, you can buy three of them from the shop at Hatino Village, and also from Aegis who sells two, and Yamo who sells ten when it's raining. You can also get ten fresh milk from the Sheep Rustler side quest in Hatino Village. Coin asks you to clear out the monsters living in the Hatino Beach and save her sheep. For Goron Spice, you can buy three of them from the Goron City. You can also buy five of them from Yamo when it's raining and also buy one from the traveling merchant Stam who travels between the South Akala Stable and Tarrytown. For monster extract, it's a little more complicated. You can get them from Kilton. After you find Kilton for the first time, he'll appear every night at most main villages. If you don't know where to find him, someone in the Akala region will give you a clue. Each monster extract costs 9 mon, and you get mon from Kilton by giving him monster parts. There really isn't a trick to farming them, but you should know that all shops restock after midnight when you're not close to them. If you want to continue farming one of those materials, you can buy them, travel somewhere far away, sit until the next day, then go back and buy them. You can also go on a shopping spree. Go to each shop, buy all the items, and keep traveling around Hyrule and buying everything. By the time you get back all the way around, the items should be restocked. The only thing I'm not sure about is how to make the traveling merchant spawn on command. If you know how to make this happen, feel free to let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to know and find anything in Zelda Breath of the Wild, this playlist has almost everything in the game that you can find. Thank you so much for watching, thumbs up if you liked it, and consider subscribing for more Zelda content. See you next time! <laughs>